Hi guys, uh, this is part two, uh, continuing from part one, which is the first video. Actually, uh, there was it was only one video, but there was an error at the end, and I have to delete half of the video and redo part two. So the error is found by YouTuber name, YouTube channel name. I am expert. That's how it sounded. I am expert, and uh, he's actually he's expert in Maya. When you read this way, it says Maya. <laughs> so he's expert in Maya, and check out his YouTube channel. He have a great tutorials. Uh, so uh, he found out I made a mistake. Uh, you know, keeping the blend shape target and. In Unreal Engine, the new morph target should be active at runtime. So basically, I should activate the new morph target at runtime. Uh, so he's uh, he's right, but I want to try a different way in this part two. And if it work, uh, this <laughs> this video will be posted. If not, I'm gonna continue based on. Uh, I am expert recommendation, which I should do it actually. Uh, the other one, uh, actually, it's not an error, but to save time, someone comment me about. Uh, I don't remember. Where, okay, I think it's somewhere here. Yeah, still, uh, this person comment me, um, and instead of manually aligning here in this video, if you see here, I'm aligning. The meta human head on top of the uh, uh, the scan face. So this takes time, but I should save time using uh, Rub 3D. Uh, there is a node called uh, uh, okay. There was a node called Rig Alignment Node. So if I use that one, it it takes like maybe 30 seconds or one minute. Yeah, you know, to align uh, your your original metahuman uh, head on top of the scan face. If you use the rig alignment node uh, in Rap 3D, uh, you know, you will save a lot of times. So let's prepare our metahuman. Right, so this is the original meta human uh, imported from Bridge. So in this step, we're gonna remove the body part and apply uh, blend shape. Since we already prepared the scan phase, we're gonna apply it here and we're gonna create a blend shape for it. Then we're gonna export it to Unreal Engine, then we'll continue. So, first let's delete the body part, which we don't need. We only need the head part, right? The head part and the control rig and so on. So, uh, the body part, let's expand this. Uh, body rig. So, we don't want any of the body rig. Delete. Now we have the head part only. Uh, also, let's check if there is any LOD we have to delete. I mean, we have not we have to, but I don't want to have more than one LOD. So I'm gonna delete LOD one. Add to LOD seven. Delete. All right. Okay, we're done with geometries and let's go prepare the, the bonds so unhide DHI body root unhide the one and hide root drive then expand DHI body root okay expand expand up to 4 okay then delete spine 4 also delete uh, DHI body root right uh, no, no I mean DHI body tie left 
all right so we clean that and then we have the chai body spine 4 right so drag and drop on top of spine 3 to be a child of spine 3 drop it it's gonna be a child of 3 when you collapse it it's gone right because it's child so in terms of preparing the head we're good now the next step is creating the blend shape so uh, we need to bring our uh, mash the head mash we wrap it on the scan face so this is a head mash uh, i'm gonna drag and drop it here you go now it's, it's it is on the same position as the meta human head if you can see the eye uh, fit exactly like the meta human both eye and the lip as well so what i did was i remap the mouse part the eye bag uh, and the eyelid as well on the meta human so that's why it fit on the meta human mesh so the next step is we need to create the blend shape right so to create the blend shape what i'm gonna do is as i mentioned earlier uh, i want to try a new method of exporting the blend shape to our engine uh, I can just create the blend shape and uh, export it and activate the uh, the new blend shape at the same time in real engine but first I want to try something else if it work this video my posted if not it's gonna be a new uh, the old method so the new method I want to try is I want to create a blend shape and uh, lock the blend shape here and export the the mesh and the control board as FBX. So what I mean by is uh, let me select the meta human head. Um, then let me activate. Uh, let me open the shape editor. Now this is a meta human blend shape. Uh, so uh, I want to create. I don't. I, I don't want to add the new blend shape here. I want to create a new blend shape. So to do that, I'm gonna select original mesh, the meta human mesh, and create blend shape. Then select the scan face the one we just import and create add selection as a target okay when you slide it fits right on the meta human if you can see so it fits so now we create a blend shape i'm gonna lock let me rename first uh, Shape new. Shape new and scan scan face. So I'm gonna say scan face and shape new. Then right click on first one, lock attributes, right click on second one look at attributes this is very important you have to do that after after you lock the one uh, let's hide the scan face uh, hide. this is our the meta human but the blend shape is already applied and locked so this is a new face then let's apply let's change the material since you we already have the, the diffuse map and 
the occlusion map we're gonna apply on it just to just for this is for it for the tutorial purpose so i will select that one go to rendering and apply new lambert and this load texture file click here and let's find our our diffuse map here is our diffuse map open all right so that's already fit let's see there is a transparency issue and click here and go to transparency right click and break connection that issue is fixed already it's a little bit darker you can you can increase the um, ambient color but i'm gonna load my occlusion map i baked it in ag soft from the mesh from the texture so let's find that one here i have the occlusion map here you go so now this done uh, I haven't worked any I just fixed some issue on the back whatever but I didn't work on the texture okay this this is just for a tutorial purpose so if you see everything looks great if I turn on uh, shadow as people whenever I turn on shadow I can see the artifact here see it's keep black do you guys know how to fix it I have no idea how to fix this issue anyway I, I turn off the shadow and I think that looks great okay so now I'm going to export uh, the mesh okay let me collapse this I'm going to export the DHI body root and rig that's the only thing you want to select export selection uh, let me cover I'm gonna put it here let me put it here new folder uh, here slash scan here slash scan uh, I'm gonna name it mm. new face okay new face export selection as FBX let's wait until it's completed so the export is completed let's minimize Maya and open epic game and library and let's create a new new project 